Hey guys, so welcome to the bonus video for our coll Christmas collab and it is all about cookies and a recipe exchange. So we're doing a cookie exchange here and I'm going to be sharing a recipe here with you and it is so simple and easy. It only takes three ingredients. They are the three ingredient shortbread cookies. They're really yummy and um, I made little bite-sized ones because I thought they were really cute and I think I'm going to make them from our elf. Cute little idea because if you do mini miniature size, um, you can kind of play off of your elf on the shelf. So I think that's what I'm going to do. If you're interested in how I made these, stay tuned for the video. Alright, to get started with our cookies, you are going to need two sticks of butter. You're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. So what you're gonna do is my two sticks of butter have been sitting out so they are softened and I'm going to place them in my mixing bowl. And then I'm also going to add in my powdered sugar and I'm just going to mix that and cream it all together. Once you have creamed together your powdered sugar and butter, you are going to slowly add in some of the flour and you will mix it up with your mixer and keep adding the uh, flour until it is all mixed in with the butter and powdered sugar mixture. It will take some time and you will not think that it's mixing and it'll get really crumbly, but once you get that part all done, we will show you what you do next to form it all together. So now here is the messy part. I would suggest removing your rings and jewelry, whatever you have, because you are going to use your hands to form the mixture into a ball. Um, it did take me quite a bit of time to get it to all cream together, but I just kept kneading it and it eventually formed a nice dough um, and you want to roll it up into a ball once it is all formed together. So now that it is formed a ball, it is time to roll out your dough. So what I do is I sprinkle a little bit of the powdered sugar down onto my surface. I have granite countertops, so I just use that, but you could um, have some parchment paper or something laid down. And you are going to roll out to a quarter inch thick surface and 
I keep rotating my dough so that way it's not sticking to the uh, counter. And then you can choose whatever cookie cutters you would like to use. For this cookie, I used a little flower shape because I wanted to do miniature size. And I just cut them out and then I will show you the next step. So I am going to lightly spray my baking sheet and what I'm going to do is I said in the beginning I made up some colored sugar and it's just regular sugar um, and I just added a little bit of food coloring and mix it up and I'm going to lightly press my cookies into the sugar mixture and just place them on the baking sheet. Um, you do not have to do the sugar. Um, I just thought it would be really cute and add a little bit of Christmas flair to it. So that's why I did it. And you can choose any color you would like. I just chose to do red and green for Christmas. So I'm going to continue cutting out my cookies and dipping them in the sugar and getting them all on my baking sheet. So what you can do with your scraps is you can then knead them back into a ball and roll it out and cut out some more shapes or you could also just wrap it up in some saran wrap and place it in your fridge until you are ready to make some more cookies. Um, I'm going to roll mine out and make some more but I'm going to show you what my tray looks like all finished and ready to go in the oven. The oven was preheated to 350 degrees and they bake for 16 to 18 minutes until they are light golden brown. So here is what our cookies came out looking like. I think they're adorable. Um, I just have them displayed here on a snowflake plate, but you could package these up into any of those Christmas containers. So that is our cookie exchange video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave the recipe down below um, and if you make these cookies let me know. Tag me in a picture on Instagram and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!